Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to surprise number two on Supercars of London. Yesterday, I launched the Liberty Walk Lamborghini Aventador that was built here at SB Race Engineering, and I had to keep that secret for three months. This is a secret that I haven't kept as long, but I was tweeting throughout the night on Tuesday because I had a 24-hour stint with DLB Designs and Car Dip UK. And the end product is what you've seen on Instagram yesterday, but today I'm launching my Monaco Challenge, the GAD Tuning Challenge, and also my new wrap up close and person I'm going to talk you through it as well so I'm just going to pan the camera around now because you don't want to hear me talk anymore so the green army tricks logo didn't suit the blue and also with the stock wheels now as you can see better here are on the car and they're also in satin black and this is a satin nardo gray liquid peelable paint it's not vinyl wrap and I'm going to be doing a full video talking to you about the process I vlogged the whole day of it being installed onto the car the preparation is ridiculous we've gone for the lime green accents brake calipers fuel ring and a few other bits and pieces including the army trick sponsorship logos the fins at the back and at the front are the same color as the car nardo gray and we've left them black inside there and we've gone for some nice touches here the army trick sticker which you saw on the blue one is back we've got more army trick stickers down here and then as we walk around the car I hope you guys enjoy it because this is the spec that I think I'm going to keep and become my signature spec and then when I move up to the Lamborghini next this is what it's going to go like. We've even gone for the Quattro logo down there in lime green as well and this car is going to be seen all over Monaco I can't wait to drive it and um, yeah this is just an absolute dream come true I've never had a satin car before so to have this the Nardo Grey, which is a bit like Primer, um, is seriously, seriously exciting. I'm going to be driving down probably right now as you're watching this video, and then we're going to be hitting Monaco on Monday, and we're going to be there for a week and one day before heading off for the return leg of the Schmi 150 Tour with 15 other supercars, and I cannot wait to join them in my new look. I think this is utterly insane. There's some really, really cool videos to come, including the 24-hour vlog that I stayed up all night to help and watch this get done and of course film it as well. Um, but then apart from that, we're, I'm also gonna be talking to you a lot more about this new liquid product that is just, I've never seen anything like it. In terms of this compared to vinyl wrap, um, the finish on this, all of the joints are so much better. I've had two vinyl wraps on my car and this is by far the coolest thing I've ever seen. The liquid seen. peelable paint is something that you should not confuse with plastic dip. I've been told that plastic dip is not actually made for cars, whereas this is a purpose-built, designed bit of technology that has the same sort of process um, and installation methods as plastic dip, but it is so much cooler. It's made for cars. You can get it dirty you don't even need water to clean it we've just got given a spray and i'll show you a video of that probably in monaco after the 1500 mile trip or whatever it is and um that is it ladies and gentlemen that is the car the new look and um, what i'm going to do now is play my conversation with gad tuning which i had up in the sb race engineering office and they're going to tell me and you about the challenge that i've got heading down to monaco which is happening right now which confuses the hell out of me Anthony, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. How are you, how are you getting on? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. The car's running well after um, the GAD magic. Excellent, excellent. Just, glad to hear it. How was, um, you know, the general feel of the vehicle? How's it, how's it feeling? It's, it's a lot better than when I bought before I bought it to you. I, I'll just let you know, you are on uh, loudspeaker on camera for um, YouTube. I'm just letting the, <laughs> letting the viewers know. I've, introdu I've introduced you. You've been on camera, I think, before uh, very briefly. Um, and I was just yep. ru running by the hydrocarbons and how dirty my car was. But how clean it is now and how That's good right. the throttle response is and how, just, how good it feels in general. And um, I hear that you have a challenge for me for the Monaco Top Marks trip? Basically, what we've what we've decided is to come up with some sort of Top Gear style challenge right. for you. Yeah. Well, I like so, I, I enjoy a challenge. Excellent. Yeah, Top Man. <laughs> well, this is it. I mean, you know what 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 we noticed with your, you know with your YouTube channel is your London to Edinburgh run. Um, <laughs> yeah. Your your economy run. Yeah. You know was was really well received and it's something that not many people do. You know, people grab supercars and they see how fast they can go this, that and the other. So, you know, the benefits of having all the bits we did, all the engine carbon cleaning and, you know, really, you know, manipulating the software to get the most out of the, the Army Tricks exhaust and the, and the filters, et cetera, et cetera. 
we're going to set you another economy challenge. Right. Just so that you know, I did, I did do the uh, first economy challenge. I did get to Edinburgh on one tank of fuel and I smashed it. So I'm feeling confident. Oh, whatever you're going to throw at me, <laughs> whatever you're going to throw at me, I'm feeling confident. Unless it's London to Monaco, I'm not feeling too confident <laughs> on that. I think the mileage is the mileage is too yeah, difficult. I need a Prius. That's, that's right. So what we're basically, what what myself and the other director of the gather come up with is London to Leon. London to Leon. Tank, yeah, on one tank of fuel. How many miles is that? Six hundred odd. Right. Give or take. I'm going on, I'm, give me two seconds, I'm going on Google Maps and I'm going to find out. So I'm going to do it for a let's my address. Let's see, what, let's see what she can, uh, well, let's see what you, you can get out of her. Jesus, like I think I had to average like 36 miles to the gallon when I did London to Edinburgh. That's brilliant, I mean you think, you know, now with the engine decoaching, you know, every aspect of your engine's running clean, you know, all the manipulation of the throttle mapping and everything, your, your car's running, you know, sweet as, so... This is going to be, you know, we can now sort of push the boundaries a little bit more on what your car's capable of doing. So it's it's telling me six hundred and eleven miles, nine hours, <laughs> nine hours and ten, nine hours and ten minutes. It's essentially there or thereabouts, but that's probably based on actual driving the speed limit. Whereas what I did when I did Edinburgh, I drove at like fifty miles an hour and drove like a granny because it's just the best way for fuel economy. And I think I'm going to have to course, drive yeah, it like. Bang, bang. <laughs> I'm going to need a seventh oh. gear for this, I think. <laughs> that's right, that's right. You're going to have to, uh, you know, lots of slipstreaming. Um, <laughs> keep, keep the car down. Well, so, yeah. right, I'm going to get researching now on how I can save fuel economy in my car and get it up to the maximum possible, and um, I'll get cracking on the journey. And okay. um, then what I'm going to say now to the guys on YouTube and talk to the camera now, so I'm not actually talking to you, <laughs> that... <laughs> Um, the video is going to go live on the Monday evening at 7 o'clock UK time. It's going to be 8 o'clock Monaco time because I'm going to be yep. in Monaco um, on that Monday. So I'll leave Leon the okay. Monday morning. Um, so on that Sunday, the 12th, um, I'm going to be documenting my journey on uh, social media. And um, it's the GAD the GAD Tuning Top Gear Challenge. Or do you just want to call it the GAD Tuning Challenge? That sounds much better. Sounds Sounds wicked, yeah, let's do it. The GAD tuning challenge is on. 111 miles in an Audi R8 and one tank of fuel. Challenge <laughs> accepted. Excellent. And I'll speak to you very, very soon. And, um, yeah, I'll pro well, I'll probably speak to you either. I'm going to be, like, ruffled up on the hard shoulder of some French highway or I'm going to be in <laughs> or I'm going to be in Lyon. One of the two, I will let you know how I get on on Sunday. Hopefully, hopefully Lyon. We want to see you, you know, we want to see you. <laughs> So, yeah, I oh, know it's gonna be it's, it's a big one. Well, well, I was gonna say thank you for your call, but I called you, so. <laughs> That's fine. Thank, thank you for the call. <laughs> it's good to speak to you, mate, and I'll speak to you on Sunday, and the video will go live on Monday. Excellent, top man. Speak to you soon. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye.